Today on the channel, fresh from the Target Holothon, we got the biggest creature of the bunch as we've got the NECA Mirage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Triceraton Zog. <laughs> Kyle here and welcome back to the channel for another NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing and review and today we've got the Triceraton Zog from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mirage line but remember for all your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle needs and a whole lot more make sure you're hitting up Entertainment Earth use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% for all in-stock items and of course anything over $59 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. You're not going to quite find him in Entertainment Earth quite yet, as I think he's a limited re retailer exclusive with the Target stores right now for their Target Holothon, but probably, you know, six months from now, probably be able to get him everywhere, I would assume there. But of course, we're going to do this unboxing and review like we do all the other ones here on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. And this guy should be part of the u haul -a -thon, as he is the biggest Mirage Turtle figure we've had so far here. Of course, a big Triceratops makes a lot of sense, but he is a big boy one. I'm very excited to get out of the package here today because this is the one I was kind of looking forward to because you guys know I love hairy bipedal creatures. Well, he's not quite hairy, but he's a bipedal dinosaur, so I'm here for that. And then he's also a big figure, so you know I love that. And we're also going to compare him to some of his brethren from other toy lines later on in this very video. But let's take a look at the packaging on this one. It's the Mirage packaging, very heavy, very big, of course. He is a big, big boy. We got Ninja, Ninja Turtles right down there. Little Glamour Shot, there's his name. Big plastic window, seeing it all there. Looks like he's number seven in the line. You get the little seven there, a little headshot. Little artwork on the side over here, looking really good. And then you get to the back of the package. Look at that. There's some uh, extra glamour shots. A little cross cell down below. Here's what's to come there. What's going on? Does it say anything back here? It says meanwhile, and, and that's it. That's all I need to say. And it's just a bunch of different looks of the head, pretty much. So it is what it is. Nothing that's going to set your world on fire, I don't think. But let's get him out of the package here. Let's see what's going on in this old plastic prison. We got that familiar Mirage background, kind of a little street scene going on. We see this all the time with all the Mirage turtle figures. Off the races, three-point shot. See you later, it's good. Hey, all right, take me to the all-star game, the three-point contest. I'm ready to go. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play like a young John Fogarty. Like a young John Fogarty. Now, how do I get this out? What do we got going on here? Are we taped in? Are we locked in? Well, this is weird. Oh, my gosh, they got a big twist tie through the back on the, on the back plastic prison. You don't see that very often. There we go. I'm sticking that off the side. So we get two plastic prisons. You got weapons, you got tails. You got hands, there's plastic prison number one. And then you got the big one here with uh, some grenades, some weapons and so forth, a big knife and a big plastic prison right there. So there's old Triceraton Zog. Let me uncork him from the package here. We'll be back talking all things Zog. All right, we got Zog out of the package. Let's break it down and let's start with the accessories first and we'll start with the hands. Ah, oh, somebody give me a hand, but we got all kinds of stuff going on. Two big old splayed out hands there are uh, coming stock on the figure out of the package. But then what do we got from there? We got two fists of fury. Makes all sense to the world. He seems like a big bruiser. He should be throwing those big old haymakers. And that's what we got right there. So we got two fists of fury. We got two gripping hands. And honestly, this is probably what I'll be using for him. He does have a weapon. He does have a sword. He does have a weapon. He does have a sword. He's probably going to be holding those uh, on the display for me. That's probably how I'll go. We got two gripping hands. And then you got two a little bit looser gripping hands, we'll call these. Somewhere between splayed out and gripping. That's what I have here. So that does work for me. A nice uh, orange color to this one with a dark wash across it. You got some nice line work around the nails. Uh, almost reminds me of Thing, of course, from uh, Marvel uh, in the Fantastic Four. Almost that kind of a rock-like. I mean, it's big, big, tough skin. Of course, a Triceratops probably has pretty thick skin, I would imagine. Maybe in more ways than one. Who knows? Who knows? But uh, there's the hands right there. Then we get down to some of these other accessories here for Zog. We get some grenades. He is a, a warrior, I guess, after all. So we got two brown grenades, the exact same grenades. Uh, both of them look identical, but look really nice. We'll see if we can store those anywhere. I'm not sure if we can or not. 
And then what is this? Is this uh, like a gas, uh, like tear gas or something like that? I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a little mini fire extinguisher, but I think it's probably uh, tear gas here. But they got a kind of nice brown wrapping around them. Good line work once again with the black line work on here. But nice little ancillary accessories is what I would call those. Then we got a big old knife. I love the knuckle duster portion on the front with all the spikes there. Something cool about a knife like this, you're holding it. You can punch people in the face, slit their throat, punch them with an uppercut. You can do all that kind of stuff. Uh, you got that, a nice gray color here to the blade. Once again, that black line work throughout. And a nice brown handle here to kind of give it a little different color, a little make it pop just a little bit more. So I do like this knife blade, whatever we're going to call it here. And then a very small, very futuristic space-like gun uh, for Zog here. I get it, this is what he had, but gosh, a bruiser like this, you'd think he'd have some heavy, heavy artillery going on, but I guess it is a futuristic gun. It's got a lot of power to it, things like that, but a nice blue color. Two tones of blue, you got the nice little black, or I should say brown strap on this, looking really good, and then you got the yellow right there in the top. So it looks good, nice weapon here, just not a big, big hulking weapon. Uh, but then we do got his tail. How about that? You got a big old tail for the Triceraton here. Uh, looking good. Once again, it matches the color. You got the black and orange going on throughout. Got a little bit of a turn here. No articulation in the tail at all, but it no articulation, I should say, is traditional articulation. But it does have a little bendy action to it. So it's got some bendy wires in it so you can move it around back and forth. Not super, super loose, pretty tight, but you can get movement out of this if you need to. So give him a little bit more personality with moving his tail around. And we'll stick that in to him in a second here but let's take a look at old zog the triceraton first first thing you notice very heavy he is a big chunk of plastic uh that is for sure you got that orange and black attack going on throughout it's an orange color with a nice black wash a lot of line work throughout really really does pop he looks like a guy that's been through some battles he's seen some things in his uh battles over the years for sure but looking really nice and we'll start off with the head here on him you got the typical triceratops head going on and i am shocked how much mobility we have out of this we can look way up here side to side when you look him up uh, it doesn't get in the way of those big rock like shoulders he has he can go down a decent amount that's about all you really need anyways but he can go up a heck of a lot uh, on the articulation there so i really do like that a lot of movement there i uh, love the articulation on the jaw that is a must-have on a figure like this bigger figures have to have that jaw articulation so you have closed mouth open mouth got the nice teeth in there and i love the long tongue sticking inside there looks even crazier with the tongue you can see him just screaming and yelling like this you got nice red eyes and then you got the horns of course triceratops three try got three horns right there a nice dirty wash to the horns as well nice nice look on there beautiful beautiful head on this all day long somebody hands you this head you might not say it's zog from the mirage comics but you'll say hey it's a triceratops i think there's no doubt about that we get down to his jumpsuit here he's got a nice little space suit it's been tattered it's been torn looks like he used to have sleeves maybe at one time been ripped off of course you got a little bit down here on the forearms then you got the usual suit throughout got some tears a little orange sticking through just a really really good suit going on tears in the knees as well he's been through the battles he's been through space and time apparently you got that nice triangle there breaking up the monotony of all the purple here looking good you got it on the forearm as well he even has the tattoo on his shoulder here of that same triangle so we got that going on I guess we'll walk through some of this articulation here on him. Arms will go all the way around for you. We already did the head. Side to side, bicep cut. Single jointed elbows. Not tons and tons of movement, but you do have it. Hands back and forth. Hands removable, of course. and re Use those over there if you need to. Big waist articulation. Really nice free flowing there. You can do decent splits for him, but obviously this is a guy, once again, not like Spider-Man. He's not going to be super articulated. Uh, you got a little bit of knee movement there, and then you got the ankle side to side up and down but very very tight joints like we're accustomed to on these NECA figures for sure uh, but we do got a good amount of movement for I think a big hulking bruiser like him uh, we do got the strap over the top here it is uh, all sculpted in here but you got some pockets things like that same thing with his belt as well looking really good and I love the black line work to really bring out the sculpt looking really really nice throughout big big toes on him like I did say too you got big three toes big toenails everything else he does have holes in his feet I don't know if he's going to fit on a ringside collectible stands he's discount code Kyle save 10% make sure you get the Mattel stands yeah he's 
don't know. Nope, he's going to fit. There it is. I don't think you really need a stand for him, but I guess if you really needed to, you could put him on there. But don't really need one. He's got the big, big old feet on him that really anchor him pretty well. Uh, this goes in right in here. Usually we get these tails, and it's usually like the ball. This is just a straight stick in, so this should be fairly easy, where sometimes those ball joints will fight you. But yeah, sticks right in there very easily. You do got some articulation on the tail as well at the top, and then you got the bendy wire like we talked before. You could also use it kind of as a tripod for him if you really need some extra stability, but it doesn't seem to be the case in this one. I don't think you need that extra stability. He's got a, a pretty nice base. Uh, to start right out of the package here but a big hulking dude a uh, big monstrous guy really love stuff like this i love big figures as you guys know so very cool to get him in the mirage line uh, we've had him in quite a few lines over the years and i've got a few of them right here handy we got the cartoon version of a triceraton of course right here there's looking good nice orange color totally different look and different feel to these and this guy's way bigger than this guy as you can see right here as well and then I do got the old school Playmates version. Uh, I guess not so old school. This is one of the recent Playmates from, uh, I think it was a Target 2-pack maybe. Uh, but you got another incarnation, I guess we'll call it, of a Zog and a Triceraton. We'll just call it a Triceraton. But we got that going on. How about some other comparisons? Uh, straight off the Holothon, we got the Shredder Clone Shredder. So a little bit uh, shorter than this guy, but you can see how those guys scale in there together. And then the one I really wanted to see, we just unboxed this on the channel about a week ago. It's the, was it Furry Toys, Fury Toys, uh, Crocker. Look at that big old leather head inspired character here. Looking really, really cool there. So big, big boys, big, cool figure here. Can't go wrong with this Triceraton. Yes, he's a pretty expensive boy. That's the way it goes on these big figures. But one that's really going to dominate a shelf, one that's going to really stand out on a shelf is this Zog figure. Very, very cool. I'm happy I picked it up. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? You picking up Zog? You playing the long game? You out on the Mirage stuff? I know there's some collectors that are just getting the movie and the cartoon and they're not doing the Archie comic. They're not doing the Mirage stuff. Totally get that. Totally understand that. But let me know where you come in on old Triceraton Zog. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. As you guys know, we got videos every single day and then some. And we got even more content for you on the Patreon where you get early access to videos like this, bonus videos, Q&As, you name it. A lot going on on the Patreon and truly the best way to support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for the Holothon Zog, I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.